Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Monotrak and we are playing Europa Universalis 4 with the newest DLC, Golden Century, welcome back. Uh, I actually saw that we have some separatists over here, we'll probably have to deal with them. Uh, we're out of generals, let's get one. Whoa! Wow, we're getting some really good generals at this point, how, how does that happen? Okay, our trade companies are pushing our army tradition, we're also fighting a lot I guess. That is probably true. These guys onto the ship. Uh, let's, let's make sure that these are not able to take our our place. Okay, good. I like it. Now, up here. Come over there. We're marching our troops down south. I'm not sure where these guys are going. Probably. Probably they're trying to get access via this. I don't think that's very promising, but we'll see how it works out. Get these guys on the ship. Uh, we'll just land somewhere. And we'll land over here. Take some of Portuguese Mexico. land here. Where are the knights? I thought the knights were helping me. That's Portuguese Peru. These guys are also very powerful. Uh, Portugal did well. Tiny homeland. Huge um, grasp over the entire world. Yeah, that's to be expected. Ah, oh, was to be expected. Alrighty, so... Try to get these 5k. Just like picking them off one by one. We won the siege. Now, is there... Am I controlling forts in the area now? Yeah, I do. Okay. So let's let's be very deliberate about this. What I want to do is take enough land from Portuguese Mexico that I can give it to California, right? So these two I need, these I need. That will find a found a colonial nation, and then. Let me just check where are the trade goods. Where's the gold? There's gold in here. There's gold! Okay. One, two, three, four. I need, I need four um, parts. Or I'll just ignore it and I'll, I'll just make my own my own Mexico. <laughs> Holy hell. That's where they draw the line. <laughs> okay. Um, this gives me all the gold provinces, or rather my subject, apart from these. I'm liking this. I think we'll do this. Aggressive expansion, just with Spain. So, yeah. I mean, enter, enter a coalition against me, Spain, sure. Mm. 
Wait, what? I didn't want this. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Can I create client states? I did not want to hold all this land on my own. I have no way of coring this stuff. I have massive overextension. Okay, I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll just create our own Aztec state then. Then we'll follow the Nahuatl faith. <laughs> Okay, so listen, Aztec. Ah, I really didn't want that. What else? What else am I gonna do? I like. Okay, I'm I'm above the diplo relations. Maybe I just get rid of France then. Listen, Aztec, Aztec people. You will become Catholic. And then I'll I'll grant you provinces. I'm not sure I'm happy about the fact that I can't have... That I can't have client states over here, it's just weird. I wish there was an easier way to grant these guys provinces than doing this, but... Chul, chul, chulua. What do I need? Quex something. Quexatlan. The thing is, I won't get any of that gold. I was really counting on just having like an additional subject over here, <laughs> which did not happen. Um, yeah, man, I could have also have grounded these guys a, a bunch of land, I guess. Yeah, no, I can't can't grant them anything. Ah, uh, what else? So I'm still at 127 in terms of overextension. This is a shit show. Is there no way for me to like release a colonial subject? Normally I I never want colonial subjects, but this time I would really like to have one. No dice. I mean, this looks pretty cool. We're massively overextended. Massively overextended. <sighs> I'm 
Why are you mad? Relative power from development. Forced religion. Oh yeah, that's still gotta tick down. That's fine. Start paying down Aztec debt. They have pretty good military ideas though, I think. They have defensive, offensive quality. Yeah, that's that's nice. And they have the infantry combat ability, morale of army, manpower recovery speed, manpower, m national manpower modifier. This is all good. Yeah, I can convert provinces to Catholic, but I don't want to. <clears throat> cool, you lazy bums. I guess they're doing it. So we just have to sit at an outrageous amount of... Ah, actually, no. We're now down to 51%. Okay, then. They also conceded this region, though. I like that. Four more years and I can sick them on Alaska. Just so diplomatically, you have claims just on Alaska. Okay, then. That's fine. That's fine. Coring these areas isn't really possible. No, you absolute honk. Why are you building a shipyard here? Tax these guys further. Oh, I can I can destroy buildings here. Really? I wanted to build something that increases production efficiency. But I mean, I could also just develop the province, I guess. Mercantilism is less than 100%. Currently 100%. Okay, I guess there's nothing more that I can do. Gonna need yearly prestige. I'll take that. I guess I'll invest some power in becoming a paper controller. Look at these Aztec troops. <laughs> Work faster. Make these cores. The Aztecs are totally coming back from the dead. That is hilarious. <laughs> I really thought that this was would automatically form a colonial nation. I have no idea why it didn't. I just don't get it. These guys are going to have a lot of problems. I should probably start subsidizing them too. Is your leader a militarist? No, diplomat. Sure. I guess. <laughs> Ming wants military access. No. Never. Never gonna happen. At least they're busy coring this stuff. Let's go and up in speed. Guild restrictions on the wall. No, more like with the traders. Yeah, I'm not coring any of these. I'm not interested. I don't want this land. Hardy seamen. Sure. Okay, that's an our vassal. I'm so glad that we're not overextended uh, above 100%. It's, it is gnarly. It is incredibly gnarly. Not 
the law already decide. Oh, the call dolphin is not too bad. Converting really fast, what the heck? I wanna I wanna grant these guys more provinces. I should probably bring these guys back to China, all things considered. Oh no, it's a Cylon core. I'll bring the Canton core back to China then. Would have been nice to have another colonial subject that uh, brought me a lot of gold, but... I guess in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't really matter. Local traders demand aid, for sure. So back onto the ship. And back to Canton. Run, 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 run. Yeah, okay, we got this. We got this. This is fine. I'll just split this army. That's okay. Conversions don't look all that enticing anymore. But it is kind of fun to to res to resurrect these guys. French Ayutthaya imperialist war against Ayutthaya. Really. And I'm guessing France, yeah, totally. France has not brought any troops with them, because why would they? Like, who, who needs troops, eh? That's just, that's just a nicety. Who, need, who needs troops? France, you just fight your wars on your own. I'm, I'm not your... I'm not gonna do your bidding. Just, like, do your own crap. Coring is happening. France is probably pretty mad with me. the more provinces I want to get rid of provinces uh, I'll extend it give the mayo up here 
Yeah, we're going to influence uh, Venetian Alaska further. Why not? I would have really liked to build a production building on here, but no, they don't want that. Sure, I guess, whatever. Something's something's wrong now with the performance. Never used to be so bad. a problem for sure. Lots of rebels. Some things going on with the performance. Something's totally not right. <laughs> what the hell? It's not me. I have no background processes open or anything. Is the coring? Uh, call your bombs. We'll pull that guy back. Listen, um, we should probably influence these guys. They get admin. That gives them a couple more points. And then we'll also we'll also subsidize them, I guess. How are they looking? I might not need subsidizing. I have a lot of gold. They are a republic. They're an Aztec republic. Almost rid of all these provinces. Could probably just set these guys to autonomous rebel suppression. That's something that I've could do, I guess. So listen. 100. How much money are we making now? 1200 in trade. That's okay. Okay, so that's done. I oh, know. I don't think I'm going to be able to reach these guys in time. Portuguese Colombian separatists. Can I release Portuguese Colombia? Is that something that I can do? Can I release the colonial nation of someone else? No, for some reason I can't. Yeah. 
performance was pretty good all this while, and now it's really starting to drop. And we gotta restart the game after this episode. See if I can solve it in some form or fashion. Where's your leader? Was unassigned for some reason. Weird. Okay. <laughs> They're now Catholic missionizing over here. Oh, why not? Can I give them more land? I want to get rid of the, all this Mexican land. All this Aztec land. Okay, yeah, I can give them that too. That's that's good then. I might be creating my own problem. I don't know, future problem. But they like me. The enforced religion w will go away. So can I get mercantilism above 100? No, I can't. We're at a maximum. Okay, so no more mercantilism is is useful for us. I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Let's go after these dudes. What is that? There's a room at the Naval Academy for a new instructor and the Chancellor has asked us to suggest a course of study for the sailors. Where should we direct the energies? Ship durability, sailors. Huh. I take naval morale. This is nice. Okay, we got him. Good. Come on, start coring. Okay, he's coring over here. keep converting people once I know that all these provinces have gone to them and I know that they are all cored we can help them convert burning cathedral here you probably want to convert like your capital buddy now let's do it then Can I give you provinces now? Come on, let me let me grant you a couple more provinces. No? Oh man. Go faster! Rush of merchants. Let's go trade efficiency. And we left our great military leader. Or lost our great military leader. This guy is not bad, 6-2, but not quite as good. Not sure what we're gonna do with 84k. Uh, now we max out on Diplotech. I tell you what, um, how's Venetian Alaska doing? They're still losing a lot of money because now they don't have the subsidies anymore. <clears throat> I could chuck them towards another war here. I tell you what, well, like Develop this place a little bit, then put a production efficiency place. Yeah, this is gonna give them three income from this place. That is just insanity. Trade goods. They have gold, they have coal, they have all kinds of things. They should be super happy with their lot in life, I think. So that's good. But yeah, I'll, I'll actually give them subsidies and we'll stick them on the other Alaska again. Yeah, have another hundred, hundred per month. <laughs> we can totally afford this. We have so much money. I lost claims in China. Don't care. Not a lot of troops around, I guess. Yeah, let them. I think we can just let them start their war, like. 
go after Alaska, come on. You can, you can just completely take him over. I don't think France is gonna... is gonna join this one. They have other things to do. You, you're interested in more provinces? Mexico is now Catholic. Let's switch Synop. Uh, yeah, let's go with that. Take these guys out. This is weird. <laughs> If, if in 1801 suddenly someone had revived the Aztec state as a republic, as a Catholic republic, that would have been so hilarious. <laughs> okay, they caught this now. Still busy coring? Come on. Call you fools. Building a frigate. Yeah, they're coring these. This one is already a cool. This one's almost called border conflict. Okay, one more land. Here, yeah, take it. Just like rid me of that land. I have no idea why this didn't why this didn't work out. Was it imperialism that allowed me to just take that for myself? I, I don't get it. I really don't get it. But I mean, sure, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna really complain. This one's almost done. Guild restrictions on grain. No, we want we don't want restrictions on grain. Come on. Take my provinces. Lost an admiral. Take that one. Trade company boom. Just 4,000 ducats or 10% trade efficiency. We'll take the trade efficiency, that helps us more. <laughs> We're paying out 200 in subsidies though, so... In the end, it's more of a academic question. Okay, Ming had to cede a bunch of stuff to Russia. Yeah, Russia is expanding into Ming. That is a bit of a scary prospect. Uh, Great Britain is going after them. <laughs> Man, okay. Ming didn't really have it all that good. Never played a game as Ming, though. Like, it never really interested me to, like, start so strong. I'm not even interested in starting as France or something, although you could, like, try to go for house rules to make that interesting. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm gonna end the episode here. We inadvertently created the new Aztec um, Empire as a vassal. Sure, why not? <laughs> Next time we'll see what we can do with that. Maybe go after French Mexico or something. The sad thing is they're not a colony, so I can't just stick them on neighboring colonies. That's not a that's not a thing that I can do, um, which I could do over here with Alaska. What? Why, why, did, why did you just like peace out here? Dude, why did why didn't you take like the rest of Alaska? Just fully annex them. Yeah. These guys. These guys just did not think. Oh well, for now. Thanks for watching. Join me next time. Bye bye.